In most cases, you can do these outdoor scenes with just two readings. This would be the shadow reading. This could be the highlight reading. The difference between those added to five would be the subject brightness range. If you want to expand the range and reduce developing time, you expand the difference between these two readings. The shadow reading is important for the exposure. This you don't want to mess with too much. But if you want to change the contrast overall, you can adjust the highlight reading to expand or contract the subject brightness range. In situations like this, though, where it's cross light, the position of the meter dome is fairly important. And as a reference, again, we use the white card. And if the white card now is brighter than the highlights on the subject, if it's much brighter than that, the, the subject areas will be grayed. In order to boost the contrast on, this, on the tree, to raise these highlight values up, we turn the meter away from the light a little bit until the card, the value of the card, is about the value of the, of the leaves or perhaps even a little darker. If I take the reading here, this will brighten the leaves considerably. If we want to darken those, I turn back toward the light like this. This becomes the white reference still. Now the leaves are very much darker. And the decision you have to make is where you turn the meter to get the relationship you want. We're simulating the shadow condition that you see under the leaves or under the branches here. And if I take the reading here, the shadows on the tree will be relative to this reference black, probably lighter than this. If I want to darken those, I can move this black card out of the shadow into the light a little ways. And now that if this is the reference black, those are going to be very much blacker. And speaking of black, here comes a black reference for you. Come here. Come here, dog. Come here, Toby. Come here. Come over here. And sit. Sit. Now, if we wanted to photograph Toby, if this is a reference black, he's going to be very much blacker than that. So if I move over into the shadows like this, take the reading here, then we'll raise these values up considerably and we'll get a better rendition Thank of you, Toby. In most cases, you can do these outdoor scenes with just two readings. This would be the shadow reading. This could be the highlight reading. The difference between those added to five would be the subject brightness range. If you want to expand the range and reduce developing time, you expand the difference between these two readings. The shadow reading is important for the exposure. This you don't want to mess with too much. But if you want to change the contrast overall, you can adjust the highlight reading to expand or contract the subject brightness range. In situations like this, though, where it's cross light, the position of the meter dome is fairly important. And as a reference, again, we use the white card. And if the white card now is brighter than the highlights on the subject, if it's much brighter than that, the, the subject areas will be grayed. In order to boost the contrast on, this, on the tree, to raise these highlight values up, we turn the meter away from the light a little bit until the card, the value of the card, is about the value of the, of the leaves or perhaps even a little darker. If I take the reading here, this will brighten the leaves considerably. If we want to darken those, I turn back toward the light like this. This becomes the white reference still. Now the leaves are very much darker. And the decision you have to make is where you turn the meter to get the relationship you want. We're simulating the shadow condition that you see under the leaves or under the branches here. And if I take the reading here, the shadows on the tree will be relative to this reference black, probably lighter than this. If I want to darken those, I can move this black card out of the shadow into the light 
a little ways. And now that if this is the reference black, those are going to be very much blacker. And speaking of black, here comes a black reference for you. Come here. Come here, dog. Come here, Toby. Come here. Come over here. Sit. 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 Now, if we wanted to photograph Toby, if this is a reference black, he's going to be very much blacker than that. So if I move over into the shadows like this, take the reading here, then we'll raise these values up considerably and we'll get a better rendition Thank of you, Toby. Well, we're standing inside a kind of a balcony here, a portico, and so we're in the shade. Uh, the sky up above us here is uh, relatively bright in this scene, but we want it, it's going to, we want it to print gray as well, a very light gray. So I'm going to be cheating the meter. I'm going to be able to reach out from under this balcony uh, into the open light, and we're going to cheat the meter toward the sky. Okay. Which, take it up a little bit. You think we should turn it completely up? Turn it, yeah, turn it right up the center. All right. That will very much bring down the value of the, of the trees and the foliage out there. Okay, it took it up about a little less than a stop to 10.3. Mm -hmm. That's about it right there. All right. And uh, the shade reading probably, the low reading is probably going to be adequate right inside the, the portico here. So I'm going to just back up into the shade and point the, uh, in this case, the dome toward the camera. Okay, and it's about 9.0, so we have a 1.3 stop difference there, which added to 5 is about 6.3, which uh, feels about right. Uh, shoot it. Shoot it. All, the light is All right, and we'll just there. take out our high pack here and make some fast entries. F8 and two thirds. I'm going to close down a little more, so. I'm going to set it at F16. And I'll get a, in this case, a 1 15th second exposure, F 11 and 2 thirds, which okay. is dead. It's a fairly fast operation once you're a... Uh, we'll, lost, lost the sun, yeah. we'll wait for it a little bit. Maybe it'll peek through again. Get one first. Be sure that you've got All right. We'll, all right. We've got the, now, the pressure's up. now we can relax a little. Thank you, Phil. It's great to have a mentor right behind you, encouraging you to to move now quickly we'll for the the sun. I think. I want a little more of the um, of the path in this image, and I'm going to have to back up a little to get it. So let me. Go back maybe a few feet to maybe about here. Well, the sun is better than too. It is. is. Yes, sir. <laughs> it's one of these shots where the moment is everything. All right, this looks better. We've got a little more path. I can bring the camera down just a little to bring it in. And I see no reason why we can't do the light the way we did it before. Right. Uh, so we're going to point the meter at the sun. Okay, we're right here and uh, we're going to take the high reading looking forward here. It's about 11.4 up a stop from last time and then let's turn it around. And now we have 10.5. So uh, my goodness, get out Expo Dev, make some Sir, Ten five does that feel? Uh, yes, sir. Ten five is the low. So uh, we're going to turn the film holder over. We'll be using four. Still have the two ten. I was eleven four. Right. All right. So we have a five nine. That seems perfectly reasonable. Uh, once again, no need to check filters or anything like that. We can shoot this at F16 in the third at about 1 30th. Okay, filter number 
before we're closed down. And here we go. Everything looks great out there. All right. Nice little height over the top. Do you see that or not? Right on top of the building there? Yeah. Yes, indeed. So we'll oh, yeah. see that angled roof. I think it'll be there. Yeah. I, 